What's up Vintage Moto fans? Bill Wheeler here, Wheelhouse Garage. Got an awesome episode for you today. I have in front of me two superb examples of CZ360 side pipers. Got basically an incredible time capsule of an original bike and then also a fantastic version of period correct race mods and also the stuff that you would do today if you wanted to race this bike in armor or any other type of vintage racing organization. At the end of the episode, I'm going to announce which one of these bikes is for sale and how we may even start them too. Let's do it! Now, if you were serious about racing motocross in the late 60s and early 70s, you wanted to be on a CZ. They hauled ass, they were bulletproof, and all the cool kids were riding them. Joel Robert, Dave Bickers, Yaroslav Falta, Roger DeCoster, and of course my good buddy Brad Lackey were all riding CZs and they were winning races. This one, like I mentioned, is a phenomenal example of an original bike. 360, side pipe, dual ignition, 10 to one compression ratio motor. Just a really robust machine here. Originally they had Jaikov carburetors, which you see on this one here. Love to see that. Original number plates here, original steel fenders front and rear, sporting the original magnesium hubs, which of course from the factory had more of a gold tint from the manufacturing process, but they've oxidized as they all have. Steel rims are appropriate. Can't forget to mention these original Barum tires. That seat is original. These wear marks here from the knees are phenomenal. It has original in really great condition with pipe um, and it doesn't have a spark arrestor on it, which was very common to do back in the day. This example is another phenomenal example. Matching numbers, both these bikes are matching numbers. And this bike is a great representation of common modifications back in the day and common modifications for current racing applications as well. It has a Makuni carburetor on here instead of a Jaikov. That was very popular because Jaikovs had a tendency to flood and they wore out fairly quickly. Um, so Makuni's offered uh, an accessible option that was a little bit more reliable. You can see on this pipe here, which is also in great condition, that it has a spark arrestor welded on to the end of it. Now that was very common. Um, you also need that to pass tech inspection for current racing, so that's a great mod actually. Um, this has plastic fenders front and rear, another quite practical upgrade. Um, beautiful tank here with fantastic paint that is an original seat as well and this bike also has the original handlebars and aftermarket shocks of course original bike would have come with pals or uh, most people put girlings those are probably girlings actually but these are aftermarket as well both of these have been fired up and actually Brad Lackey came to my dad's shop and got this one running But uh, let's see if they fire up today and then I'll tell you which one's for sale. So which one of these bad mamma jammas is going to be for sale? The vintage time capsule or the vintage racer? What do you think? Which one? Ooh, the vintage time capsule. 1970 CZ 360 model 969 running. Amazing original condition. Will be for sale within the next week. If you're interested, shoot me a message here. Email me, bill at wheelhousegarage.co. I'll keep you up to date. You'll be the first to know about the listing and the price. It's a good one. You're not going to want to miss it. And this glorious machine is going to good old cousin Bob, and I know he'll enjoy it. All right, folks, with all that said, I'll see you next Saturday morning with another vintage motorcycle video. Cheers!